with all the press like around the new Hunger Games movie, I started thinking about when I first read the Hunger Games when I was like 11. And when I was 11, the premise of the Hunger Games, like kids killing kids, terrified me because I knew that like as an 11 year old, I'd be like the first one to die, right? But now that I'm a little bit older, the Hunger Games doesn't so much scare me as it intrigues me because I think that if I got picked for the Hunger Games right now, I'd be one of the careers. I'd be one of the favorites. I'd have like 40% odds to win the whole thing. If I got picked for the Hunger Games, this is how it would go. So Spencer, how are you feeling about your odds in this year's Hunger Games? Oh, I gotta tell you, I'm feeling great. Nobody seems to have noticed this, but like 20 of the 24 people competing in this competition are like scrawny 15 year olds who have like never had a secure source of food. So I feel actually pretty good about this. Yeah, no, actually that's, that's pretty fair. And you know like when the tributes get put in like those like little glass tubes and they're like getting raised up to like, you know, start the Hunger Games and Katniss, you know, she's all like crying and stuff because she thinks it's all over. I'd be in there watching TikTok edits of Conor McGregor and Anakin Skywalker getting hyped up. I'd be in that capsule like, All right, send me up, the kids are fucked. 